Hello friends, welcome to the New Tech Navigators. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create this employee onboarding tracker in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this employee onboarding tracker or the employee database tracker. Here we have the employee ID, employee name, date of birth of the employee, then gender, joining date, department, position. Then here we have the salary, employee email and here we have the employee phone number, address, emergency contact number. Here we are capturing the previous employer and the education of the employee, skill set of the employee and then in the last we have the active or inactive. And then we are showing this top information also so that you can see how many total headcount we have that is 28. Then here we are showing the headcount by the gender, then how many we have active and inactive. So we can see we have 18 active. And then here we are showing the headcount by the departments. And here we are showing the headcount by the position, as well as we are showing the average salary by the positions. Okay. Now I will show you how you can create this in Google Sheet. And if you want to add the new data, you can just come down and just start entering the data here. Like I'm just putting one employee ID, then you can type the name of the employee and just double click here to select the date of birth from here and this calendar. And then you can select the male, female and the other information. And once you select that automatically the top section will be updated. Now let me show you how we can create that. So what I'm going to do. I'll go to the C2. I will show you here on the C2 how you can create this similar employee database sheet. And let me copy this data because I'm going to use the same data, but you can change with your original data. This is some sample data as of now. Let's come here and from the column number B12, we will paste that as a value. Shift Control B. So this is a value. Now let me show you how you can format this. Just select this, Control A, align this, center, middle, reduce the font size, take around 8. And now we will adjust the column width. So just make it slightly smaller. And this is slightly bigger and this one also. And here also we will make it slightly bigger. Now we will apply the border and the other things. So let's select it. Press Ctrl A, go to the borders and select here light color. Let's say I'm taking this one and say all borders. So borders are applied. Now for the column A, we will reduce the column width and let's go to the view. So uncheck the grid lines. Now select the headers only and then go to the font and make it slightly bigger and make this bold also and take the background fill. Let's say I'm taking this and font I'm taking white. So our table is ready, but we can make the drop down list for the others one. So you can just click on this convert to drop down directly. It will make the drop down list or you can go one by one also like select this right click and make this drop down. So this is a drop down you can see. Okay. But the quickest way to do that, just select your table and then at bottom you will get this option that is convert to drop down chips. Just click here. Now automatically it has converted to the drop downs. Okay. So this is done. Now I will show you how you can create the top section charts. So first we will create this heading top heading. So let's select this top section till the last column till here and use merge cells. Increase the row height of this and then we will fill some dark color. Let's say I'm taking this color and font take white, slightly bigger. Font name I'm taking here, Arial Rounded. And let's say here I'm putting Employee Database Tracker or Employee Onboarding Tracker, whatever you want. Now let's align this center and middle. So this is done. Now we will select this range till here and we will fill light color this one. Okay, and you can make it more lighter if you want because this seems slightly darker. So let's select this once again and this time we will go to the add custom color and here we can make it lighter from here. Let's click on OK. Okay, so we have this light color. Now we will start creating this section total headcount. Okay, so let's select these two row 
and uh, these these two cells and use merge cells increase the row height slightly and fill here this white color or let's take slightly darker color of the same theme so i'm taking this one now select here this section and use merge cell and here we will fill let's say this color or more darker let's say this one this will be total head count okay let's align this center select both and align them center and middle and here we will take aerial rounded font take white slightly bigger and here we can use the count a function and from the employee id select till the end and just hit the enter so we are getting the count as 28 select the font name as aerial rounded and increase the font size you can take around 50 and font color as white all right and select this range you can go to the border and take here white color border and take it slightly thicker and all borders so this is total head count and you can further increase the font size if you want let's say i'm taking 70 so this is total head count okay same we are showing here now the first chart we will create head count by gender so what we can do we can insert a chart before that let's reduce the row width of this row and this row also now let's insert a chart for gender head count by gender so what we can do we can select the gender here that is column e okay from row number 12 till the end and then go to the insert and insert a chart so we can see the gender by chart is appearing here let's take it to the top side so we can copy it from here copy and then we can delete this let's paste this here on the top side and now let's make it smaller like this just double click on this chart title this is the headcount by gender now we will format this so we can go to the chart title and axis here let's align this center text color take black and the size take around 12 or 14 now we can change this chart to the donut chart also or you can put some whole size here so just double click here to customize this go to the customize and here we will go to the pie chart and the whole size will take 25 percent 50 percent and here we will take the 3d now you can change the color let's say for male i want to take this color and for female i want to take another color let's say this one okay you can select the color whatever you want we have taken this theme here now let's make a copy of this and then paste this here the second chart we will create which we have created here that is head count by status so we will double click here and we'll delete this range from here we will insert a new range that is status so status is available in the last column just select this till the end let's click on ok and come back so this is head count by status we can see active and inactive if you want to change the chart type you can change this so you can go to the pie uh, pie chart and take here zero so this is pie chart and if you want to move the legend at bottom you can move that and here you can add the data label so you can again go to the pie chart and show value here all right and if you want to further customize it you can do the customization from here as per your requirement okay so let's say i want to change the distance from center 25 percent you can change that like this okay now we will create the another chart that is head count by department so we will make a copy of this and let's paste this here and increase the size slightly we will take the department column which is column g so you can double click here and you can just change the column name here column number here that is column g in place of q and just hit the enter so we can see the department wise but we need to change the chart type also from the setup let's change the chart type take here column chart this one and we don't need the legend here so you can simply say none we don't need this axis title also just delete this and here we have the headcount by department okay you can further customize this just click on the grid lines and just uncheck this major grid lines from here you can just click here and change the color let's say i'm taking this color 
you can make this 3d also so you can go to the chart style and make it 3d and if you want to add the data label just click here just double click and then here you can add the data labels just come to the series and here just check the data labels. so we can see the data labels here all right so this is the headcount by department now the next chart we will create that is headcount by position so let's make a copy of this and paste that here and let's keep this here you can reduce the chart type because we have to create one more chart so let's reduce this chart first then this one and let's keep this here and reduce the size slightly then keep this here and reduce the size slightly. just double click and we will take the position this time which is column h this one okay so just double click here and take the h in place of g h and h and just hit the enter now let's increase the size or you can make it normal in place of 3d okay and here also you can change it or even if you want to change this chart type as a bar chart you can do that also from here you can take the bar chart now we can further format this double click and show here proper values and we will change the plot area size here also okay so this is the head count by the position all right so this chart is also ready now we will create the next chart that is average salary by position so you can just make a copy of this and paste that here and you can create the average salary by position also so if you want to keep it in the bar chart or in the column chart you can change the chart as per your requirement let's double click here and uh, we will go to the setup and here just click on this we have already position let's add a new range so we will take here cell D column so select this column till the end and just click on ok now position is here and just add here cell D so that is taking count let's take here average so that should be average cell D now let me come here and this is the average cell we can see if you want to change the chart type you can change that so we can say this is average cell by position so friends that is how you can create this type of tracker in google sheets this is ready to use you just need to update the data here at bottom and as you update the data automatically all the charts and this number will be changed so always you can see what is your headcount and how the headcount is by gender and the by department by position everything is ready for you all right friends so that is how we can create this type of tracker friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching